and I shoot a Matthew. And I shoot a Matthew. I shoot a Matthew. But I shoot a Matthew. I shoot a Matthew. I shoot a Matthew. I shoot a Matthew. I shoot a Matthew's boat. I shoot a Matthew. I shoot a Matthew's boat. Three D tournament archery is bigger today than it's ever been. From the IBO and ASA to the Cabela's and Buckmasters, the world's finest professional shooters are constantly raising the bar in terms of accuracy, consistency, and excitement. And at every step along the tournament trail, Matthews and single cam bows continue to dominate. In fact, today's leading competitive shooters have realized that single cam bows, with their superior performance and consistent accuracy, are critical to their success in competition. In this video, you'll hear what Matthews professional shooters have to say about single cams and why they trust Matthews bows on both the tournament trail and the deer trail. Shooters like 1997 ASA, APA, IBO, and Cabela's Senior Pro Shooter of the Year, George Dixon. 1997 ASA Men's Pro Rookie of the Year, Ken Likens. 1997 IBO World Champion, Pete Works. Derek Phillips, the number two men's pro, according to APA National Rankings. Alan Connor, the Buckmasters World Champion for 1997 as well as two-time IBO world champion, Larry Weir. Why shoot a single cam versus a two cam bow? To me, two cam bows are a nightmare. You've always got timing problems. Shooting a tournament, all of a sudden, you've got an arrow going high or low. You can't figure out why. And you look at your timing marks, well, one wheel's off from the other. With a one cam bow, that's an impossibility because the top wheel is simply an idler wheel. Two cam bow? You have two of these elliptical cams, one on each end of the bow. If the bus cable between either of these cams stretches one sixty-fourth of an inch, and they do, your cam gets out of time. And so when you go to draw, you'll get a clunk clunk and a clunk clunk, a clunk clunk and a clunk clunk. And what that does is changes the uh, knocking point, so your arrow does this. It porpoises on the way to the target, and if you get an arrow that's porpoising on the way to the target, it does not shoot as smooth as a single cam bow. There's only one cam on this bow. There's no way for it to get out of time. Uh, if you were to look at any of the uh, top uh, pros today, uh, the top five uh, pros all shoot one cam bows. I changed because obviously everyone was changing, and, and all the all the great shooters were shooting the one cam, and I mean it. You just common sense tells you, you know, there's something going on there. So I, ch I changed over and instantly I seen a, a big improvement in my shooting. Spend all my time now practicing instead of working on it. It was kind of like the old snowmobile days. You shoot them on the weekend and work on them all week. Uh, the single cam eliminated that. And I would, I just wish, wish I'd have switched years ago because I think I would have done much better. I feel like I've wasted them years not shooting the one cam. With a one cam bow, basically, you set it up at the first of the year, you get everything seated in, locked in there good, and there's no problems with it. There's no tuning problems. You get your bow set up. It's not going to come out of time because there's only one cam. There's nothing with time on it. As far as, um, as I personally am concerned, I think it's the best thing that they've ever come out with on a bow. I think it's as big a step to a one cam over a two cam as the recurve was over, or the compound was over a recurve and the one cam bows are here to stay. They are the, they are the bows to beat in the, on the tournament circuit. Why would anyone ever want to shoot a two cam bow when there's a one cam out there? I just don't understand that. So why do these top professionals shoot Matthews? We'll let them tell you why. I shoot a Matthews bow for the simple reason that the technology that's instituted into these bows right here give me the confidence to win every weekend. I won over $84,000 a year on, this year on the uh, tournament trail. Uh, I don't know of any better proof than a bow that shoots as good as this bow. The very, the very first shot that I fired the bow, it was, it was unreal. I knew that this bow seemed like it was made for me. There's not, uh, not another bow on the market that will compare with all the advantages that a Matthew bow has. 
Many times in a tournament situation, you come down to where one shot might mean thirty or forty thousand dollars, and you can bet when that opportunity arises, I want the best equipment in my hand that I can possibly get, and that is a Matthews bow, and that's why I shoot it. Well, I, I shoot a Matthews bow for the same reason that uh, a lot of people that don't shoot a Matthews bow will, because I think all the archery manufacturers could stand with me and say that it's not what is new this year, but it's what is Matthews doing this year. Matthews bows, like the new MQ-1, represent technology in action. From our ball bearing idler wheel, to the laminated slimline limbs with a lifetime warranty, on to the lightweight, radically designed Aero Riser with burl walnut grip, and finally to the power plant. The secret behind Matthew's unbelievable speed and incredible low recoil, the perimeter weighted Max Cam. By placing a special tungsten carbide weight or inertia disc on the perimeter of the Max Cam, it creates a flywheel effect that lengthens and strengthens the cam's power stroke. At full draw, the inertia disc is poised to take a very fast ride around the outside of the Max Cam. Once released, like a rocket at takeoff, momentum builds smoothly from the energy required to set the inertia disc in motion. This smooth takeoff means a smooth release. The inertia disc's tremendous centrifugal momentum results in aero speeds never before reached by single cam or two cam bows. The pro shooter's response to the Max Cam and perimeter weighted technology has been overwhelming. This new Max Cam is, it's, to me, it's a phenomenal cam because it's got a perimeter weight in it that accelerates your speed just due to centrifugal force. It also has a recoil reducing effect on the bow. It, uh, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. The first time I shot one, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't, I couldn't comprehend the speed I was getting with the bow and the lack of recoil. I just was just totally blown away by it. The limbs are coming back, wheel is rolling forward. When it releases, goes in the opposite direction. If you notice, the cam will be going forward and the limbs, the limbs go forward and the cam comes backward. And when I shoot this arrow, you'll see it. There's just no recoil in this bow. When my string comes forward with a regular cam, the string can come, come down farther and therefore give me a little more vibration. But this, this ear that's on the max cam has stopped my string from traveling forward and therefore gives stability to my string. I release my arrow quicker and I have less vibration in the shot. I, I love the cam because it takes out so much recoil. And for a hunter, uh, it's super quiet, super, super quiet. I shot it three or four times, as a matter of fact, to be sure, but yeah, I couldn't believe how fast that it was really shooting on the poundage that I had and the draw length that I had, because that's just something that doesn't happen for a short draw length shooter. And you can shoot a bow now with this Max Cam on it on 70 pounds, and the bow actually feels like you're shooting about 40 pounds. It's so smooth. It has very little recoil. It's so smooth. When the bow goes off, it's just like you haven't even shot a bow. It just, you're almost amazed when the bow collapses. And, you know, you're thinking, where's the shock? Where's the jar? And it's just not there. I've had a problem in the past of, of shooting a two-cam bow and it completely jumping out of my hand. There's so much recoil. And with this, there's no recoil at all. Now, I accidentally shot this one the other day without my sling on. And I just I used an open grip and just lightly touched my finger on it. And uh, to my surprise, it went nowhere. And that's the first time that's ever happened with me. And uh, that's due to the inertia disc in the, uh, in the cam. I can shoot my Matthews um, Max Cam bow for hours at a time with absolutely no fatigue at all. I shoot seven days a week during tournament season. And uh, with hand shock, actually it hurts my elbows to shoot a lot. And with the peripheral weighted cam, you don't get that uh, hand shock. Another Matthews innovation is the Zebra ZS Twist Bowstring, standard on all Matthews bows. It combines bundles of low-stretch multi-filament strands, counter-twisted to form a perfectly balanced bowstring that does not rotate as the bow is drawn. The peep comes to perfect position every time, 
without the need for rubber tubing or other alignment devices. This feature is as important in the woods as it is at the firing line. As I draw my bow back, the peep sight stays perfectly straight all the way back. Um, the reason for that on the zebra string, you got one color is twisted in one direction, the other color is twisted in the opposite direction, then those two colors are twisted together. So therefore, one color of the string and the other color of the string are kind of fighting against each other and it holds it perfectly straight as I draw it back. And they, when they're in a crucial position, when you're got a, an animal below you, you don't want to pull up and not be able to see through your peep sight. It has to be correct at that time. I shot the same string all summer, never stretched, never moved, still hits in the identical spot where it did when I set it up. Also today, uh, you see a lot of our competitors' bows, uh, people changing their, their strings over to the zebra twist string on, on their bows. So that tells you something right there. I have a lot of customers on other bows, competitors' bows, having me order zebra strings for them, which kind of speaks for itself. A lot of the hunters use a rubber tubing on, on the peep. Uh, I don't have to do that because the string, once it's shot in, it never moves. And you, if warm and cold situations don't change it. So, uh, I mean, it's obviously an advantage, especially the first time you draw back with an with a off-brand string and the peep rolls around the wrong way and you miss a buck because of it. For years, I've, I've always made my own bow strings. You know, you never could buy a good factory string until the zebra twist come out, and I'll never make another string again as long as I can get these. I absolutely quit making my own string. I don't own a string jig anymore. I don't have any string making materials because uh, the zebra string, as far as I'm concerned, is the absolute best uh, factory made string that there is. My peep just stays just where it's supposed to be. I don't have to fight a peep while I'm shooting. it. With the zebra string, it's there. No matter what the conditions are, it stays. I mean, once you set your bow in, you shoot it, get it seated in, it's there. There's no, uh, no stretching problems, no wear and tear on They'll last you for a long time. Most competitive shooters are as at home on the tournament trail as they are in the tree stand. And Matthew's pro shooters are no exception. They all agree that their bow's performance is just as important when there's a trophy whitetail in the peak instead of a 3D target. Well, two weeks ago, I just killed a... I don't know if it's going to be Boone and Crockett, but real close to a Boone and Crockett antelope in Douglas, Wyoming. Shot 19 arrows and I've harvested 19 deer. I've never enjoyed that type of accuracy and success with any other boat. And I was able to get ahead of them and cut them off on the island. When these bulls came through, there was not, I thought, and I'll tell you now, in my mind about my bow or any of my equipment working for me. I just knew my Matthews bow was going to work. And without a doubt, without a flaw, when the moment of truth came, um, it performed flawlessly. My favorite hunting is uh, hunting hogs. I uh, live in uh, central Georgia and we have a lot of swamp and uh, all, there's a lot of brush and stuff you have to maneuver through the swamps and, and, and you have to tote a bow for a long period of time. And we have a, the Matthews bow is very light. It's very, they have many shorter model bows than the one I have uh, that you can maneuver through this uh, through the terrain and limbs and stuff with ease and, and quietness to, to stalk your game. It allowed me to hold and still make a good shot even after holding for a long period of time, waiting on the deer to present a good shot for me. And if I had had a longer bow, my, my limb would have been into the tree stand, but with a compact bow, I was able to take the shot from a seated position. Matthews makes some of the lightest bows that's ever been produced. They're easy to carry in the woods. You don't have to uh, lug a bunch of weight around. But what I find with the shortness of this little bow, you can get around places that you can't with the longer bows. And I had a buck come out, and uh, I, I was actually able to draw the bow in that smaller area, hold it while he, he had passed behind a tree, and I had to hold it probably a minute or so, and I was able to do that and still get my shot and I took my 10 point buck. Uh, if you, you can hide up your tree better, you can get more limbs closer to you and still have room to operate with the small bow. The time this year the deer was just about to come out in the, one of my shooting lanes and I drew and he decided to stop. And he sat there, seemed like forever, but if it hadn't been for this let off, 
I'd have just had to let him go. I'd have to let down. The birds, it just started to break daylight, and I was sitting there with my Matthews bow, and I was just enjoying the morning, and had some birds flying by, and something kind of caught my corner of my eye over here off to my left, and I thought, well, that's just a bird, and then I said, you know, that was too white for a bird, and I clipped my release on my bow, and went ahead and turned around, and looked and studied it for a second, and then here's this massive 11 point, just walks into an opening about six inches wide through the pine trees. And of course, I was already ready, so I drew on the, on the deer and dispatched it, and it ran about 40 yards. I watched it fall in front of me. I mean, it, it's just a, a great, great deer for this part of the country. Uh, a 146 and a half with a bow, is, uh, that's, that's a, a good deer. And with the Matthews, uh, there's just no way to miss. Every year, Matthews comes out with faster, smoother designs. And 1998 is a very exciting year, with three new models beginning with the MQ-1. This bow gives you exceptional speed without the kick, and the straightest knock point travel of any bow, thanks to our new straight line Max Cam. With just one shot, you'll understand why this is one very special bow. With its speed bow brace height, the 1998 Black Max compares apples to apples and clearly comes out on top versus the competition. With its innovative Black Max cam, it can deliver speeds of more than 330 feet per second IBO. Finally, the Ultra Max, with its one inch reflex arrow riser, providing the feel of a Feather Max and the speed of a Z Max a combination that is definitely the best of both worlds. It's also available with the new Mini Max Cam for shorter draw length shooters. Whether you're shooting one of the new models or a design we've brought back this year by popular demand, you're in good company. Because now, like the pros, if anyone asks, you can tell them, I shoot a Matthews. You know how innovative Matthews is when it comes to bows. But did you also know they put that same ingenuity to work in a new sleeping bag design? If you've got a hunting or camping trip coming up, you've got to watch this. If you're serious about hunting, you know how important it is to stay alert. Get a bad night's sleep in camp, and there's no telling what you might miss out on. Isn't it time for a seriously comfortable sleeping bag? You're looking at the Genesis Sleep System by Justin Charles, a division of Matthews Incorporated, and it's going to change the way you sleep. First, Genesis uses flaps instead of zippers to get rid of drafts and snags. Plus, the flap system turns Genesis into three bags in one. In mild temperatures, cover up with the bag's outer flap. If it's chilly, say 10 degrees Fahrenheit, use the inner flap. Or if it gets around 20 below, fold in both flaps. Every layer features Primaloft insulation, designed for the military to give you the warmth of goose down without allowing moisture absorption. For ultimate convenience, check out this attached pillow that stays put and flips up or down depending on your height. For ultimate comfort, Genesis has a warm polyolefin fleece lining instead of cold, clammy, conventional nylon. And unlike ordinary bags, its pad pocket design keeps the pad right where it belongs. From a warm April gobbler hunt to a Canadian whitetail trip in November, there's finally a sleep system that does it all. Genesis. Get one and you might just get a whole lot more than a great night's sleep. Ask to see the Genesis Sleep System at your Matthews retailer, or for an information packet, call 608-269-2728 today.